What's good, y'all? Hope this video finds you well and in good spirits. All right, uh, this topic of today is called Don't Look Back. All right, don't look back. And we're going to use two examples, all right, one from the Old Testament and one from the New Testament. Uh, so the, for the Old Testament, all right, we're going to be in Genesis nineteen twenty six. all right? It's talking about Lot, his wife, and his daughters as they're uh, leaving the, the area of Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, we, uh, we're at the point now where they're escaping, they're leaving, and God is raining fire and, and brimstone from heaven down on Sodom and Gomorrah because of their wickedness. And uh, Genesis nineteen twenty six says, but his wife looked back behind him. Now, uh, they were warned to not look back. All right? They were warned that when they were leaving and escaping to not look back at the destruction. Right, But his wife looked back behind him and she became a pillar of salt. All right. She um, she looked back, you know, literally uh, and figuratively, too. Um, she looked back when she wasn't supposed to and she turned into a pillar of salt. The next one, I right, the New Testament, I right, going to be in Luke 9, uh, 61 through 62. I'm reading from the New King James Version as well, all right? Uh, and another also said, Lord, I will follow you, but let me first go and bid them farewell who are at my house. But Jesus said to him, no one, having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God, right? So what it's saying is uh, the man is saying, I'll follow you, but... And sometimes there's a but to to our, our walk with Christ. All right, God, I want to live for you, but I don't want to give up this this guilty pleasure. I don't want to do this. I don't want to give up this. I don't want to, you know, there's a but to it. Uh, and, and then following Jesus and making him Lord over our lives, there isn't a but. All right. Well, we have to be all in in this walk with him. All right. So, Lord, I'll follow you, but let me first go and bid them farewell who are at my house. But Jesus said to him, no one having put his hand to the plow, so starting to work and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. So no one who started started to work and then looking back uh, is, is fit for the kingdom of God. So we can be looking back at our past uh, actions, our past lifestyles, our past lifestyle choices. And, um, and, and, and the enemy will use our past against us uh, to discourage us, to distract us, um, and, and to uh, delay us, to disengage us from the present, all right? To try to have, have us living in the past and uh, reminiscing or, or remembering uh, things that we used to do, things that we used to be a part of, or... or uh, even try to make us feel bad about our past actions, and then this is to to um, to demobilize us, right? To to have us stuck in a place where I'm feeling guilty, um, and so how does this apply to us? Right? Don't look back. So we see Lot's wife, and we see this example in Luke. Um, so as as we're journeying through our, our lives on the earth, and and our walk with God, and um, we have to always be looking forward, always look forward, learn from the past mistakes that we've made, uh, because it can always help us to get better, right? Never be too, too proud, you know, always, uh, show humility and humbleness to, to, to learn, um, from other people and from your own life too, right? Don't be too proud to say, to think you can't learn from your own mistakes and own failures and, uh, own, uh, shortcomings, right? And to, uh, to learn from it. And that's why we always need to show grace and mercy to other people because we don't know their struggles. We don't know what they've been through. You know, we know uh, what Jesus has done for us. We know how the Holy Spirit has begun to work in us and changed us from the inside out. And we know where we come from. We know the mistakes. We know the past. We know the failures. Uh, so that's why we can't look down on anybody else. We need to always show grace and, and mercy to other people, right? Because we know we need it too. Um, and so... Uh, just beware of the enemy's devices and trying to get us to think about our past, get us to to almost kind of like miss it. He'll, the enemy will try to make it so it's like you're missing out on a good thing and try to get you to feel bad, like you're like you're losing something and you're missing it and you're missing out. Um, but that's not that's not. There's more to life than youth, youthful lust and and, and youthful activities you know i think the apostle paul said when he was a child he thought as a child he acted as a child 
you know, now he's a man, he's, he's changed, you know, and it's the same thing. When you put off the former man and the former conducts, you, uh, it, there's a transitional period that follows and uh, we need to always press on, press on and look forward to the hope and to the promise uh, that God has promised us and to be faithful and um, if we do slip up and fall, dust ourselves off and keep that walk going and to keep looking forward and to learn from mistakes, but to keep looking forward and don't look back. Don't look back like Lot's wife. All right, don't look back and don't look back after starting a good work, right? Putting your hand to the plow and looking back does not fit for the kingdom of God. We need to always keep working and, and keep looking forward and, and, and keep pressing on to the, to the blessed hope. Uh, of the future, right? Uh, so yeah, just a little quick, quick video, quick encouragement. All right, don't look back. All right, don't look back on your past. Don't look back on past habits. Uh, don't look back on what God has rescued him, rescued you from. Uh, and and if you do look back, always look back to learn and to make adjustments and uh, and, and and yeah, I right, stay stay blessed, stay strong. I right, love.